What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. And today I'm going to be going over some Town Hall 7 <coughs> farming. First off, this is my Clash Without Walls account. So there are no walls on it. It's just one of the fun things that I do on my YouTube channel. So for everybody who's like, whoa, whoa, he's got no walls. Yes, I know that I have no walls. Um, it's just, like I said, some of the fun that I do. I also have a Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9 account. No, just not Town Hall 9, Town Hall 8, Town Hall 10 account. For those of you who are new, but I'm going to be showing you all some uh, farming tactics for Town Hall 7. So right now, as you can see, I'm at about 1,095, uh, 1,100 trophies. Uh, and it has been going very, very well, all right? But first off, what I want to do, we need to get some upgrades done, all right? So we're going to upgrade one of our mortars. That's going to take a good amount of our gold away from us. Um, and then we are going to upgrade... Ah! Ah! We're gonna go. We're gonna go raid and see if we can upgrade this uh, wizard tower right here. But we also very badly need to upgrade one of our gold storages because we just filled up in no time. Uh, but first, we're gonna go into my attack log. You can see the last little bit of attacks that I started today. Uh, right here was the first one. Two seventy one three oh seven. What? Nice. Two oh two one forty three. One eighty seven one ten. 156, uh, 94, 87, 83, 99, 158, 139, 98, 169, 146, 41, 109. And all of that was done with Barch with me boosting one and two barracks. So I boost two barracks, fill one up with barbarians, fill the other one up with archers, and then the other two barracks... Uh, I don't boost, but I just fill those up with barbarians and archers as well. And we just go around and we find some freaking awesome bases. How many of these can we replay? Why don't we go, let's replay this one right here. Uh, it's a three star. And you can see I'm finding some great, great bases like this down in uh, in the Silver 2 area that I'm at right now. So if you guys are Town Hall 7 and you're looking for some great loot, come hang out in this area. Uh, it probably goes up to Silver 1 uh, as well, so... I imagine that as we move up and as I continue to farm and <clears throat> get 100% on bases and get up in the trophies, that I'll keep finding some good bases. But um, this one, everything was just in the collectors. You can see there's only like uh, a total of 1,200 or 900 uh, in the storages right there. So that was a great, great find. And then like I was saying, this attack right down here was the same sort of thing. 271 and 300,000. I wish I could show it to you guys, but I cannot um, we can go ahead and let's watch this one as well. Some of them do have the gold in the middle, like this one. You can see the guy has gold in the middle, uh, but most of it is in uh, the storages in the middle of the base, as you can see. But barching is super cheap, super efficient, super fast, super easy, and uh, it's very productive, and you get a lot from it. You can see I just take out one side of the base. We can go ahead and fast forward it, and you can see that we've got all the collectors, and there's still 89,000 gold and 67,000 elixir left, so we're just going to work our way in, we're going to take out those mortars, and we're going to take out the rest of that loot right there, um, there was a good amount of gold left over, I believe, uh, yeah, because that mortar took them out, so not a good amount, only 7,000, but Got a good amount of loot from that as well, so that was freaking awesome. Uh, really what I want to tell you guys, and I told you this in another video, is if you've got a good hour, hour and a half, I've just been watching TV, if you've got an hour, hour and a half, freaking boost two of your things and just barch, and you'll get two million gold, like you'll, you'll get a lot, you'll get a good amount. Um, Especially if you're effective with it. I was watching TV and I forgot about it every once in a while. But uh, we're going to go ahead and attack and see if we can find uh, a good base that has a good amount of gold for us. Because we need 80,000. So we need at least 80,000 to upgrade that other wizard tower. Which is exactly what I'm trying to do. Because I love splash damage so freaking much in Clash of Clans. <laughs> it is the death of anybody who is attacking you and the uh, the love of the defender. So we'll go ahead and search, and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds. Uh, hopefully we can find a big raid for us uh, to do live. And yeah, I'll see you guys in literally one second. So hold on tight. All right, guys, so we are definitely going to attack this base. Uh, all of his resources are right there inside that gold storage or those gold storages surrounded by the mortar. But thankfully, one of the mortars is upgrading, so we can get a good spread of our barbarians around this base. 
And uh, the mortar is going to do some damage, but as long as our troops are spread out pretty well, then it shouldn't be too bad. He does have clan castle troops, though, so that is going to be a pretty big problem for us. Um, hopefully our barbarians can get in there and take them out, but they're standing on the other side of the wall, so the barbarians are just going to look like idiots uh, attacking the walls, trying to see what's happening. So I'm going to keep on trying to distract this mortar down here as we enter in from this right side. Um, we'll have a couple of barbarians down here just beating on the walls and whatnot so that that mortar is distracted. You can see the mortar is still distracted. However, that wizard tower is doing work on us. Um, I'm going to try and get some of our barbarians in. We got, we need more gold. We need to get more gold. Like we have to get in there to get that gold. Otherwise, we're not going to reach our goal uh, for the wizard tower. That mortar is doing work on us right there. And it just moved. Come on. The mortar re-aimed uh, <laughs> as the troops moved. That's freaking ridiculous. Come on, guys. Get in there. I'm going to save some of these barbarians. And they should be out of range right there when they're on that wall. Perfect. So they are out of range. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get these other barbarians up in here. The mortar just missed. Get in there, guys. And as long as they're out of range of that wizard tower, which they should be, then we'll be good to go. That cannon is doing work on them. Yes, they are out of range of that wizard tower. So we're going to come in here and we are going to get all of that gold. All of it. All the gold is ours. Not too worried about the elixir, even though we have a bunch of it. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to use that to keep on barging with. And then as we fill that up, uh, we'll probably just... I don't know, upgrade some troops or something because I know I have something to research. That's something else we can do. Hopefully we can research something. But um, yeah, guys, the whole point of this was just to say Barch. Barch is life. Hashtag Barch is life because I freaking love Barch. Look at that, 156,000 gold. Uh, Barch is amazing down at lower levels, lower town halls because you find some great loot. And I love it up at town hall 10 too, but... It's just hard because you can't get as good of loot because of all the loot penalties. So we're just going to train up uh, some more. I'm going to throw in some archers into this one since it's boosted. <clears throat> throw some more barbarians over here. It's all random. Uh, generally, I would say you have more archers than barbarians because they can shoot over the walls, obviously. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can research anything. We can, we can, we can. Let's reach out to our barbarians since Barch is live. So we're going to research the barbarians, and they're going to go after it. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to help uh, support me, go ahead and subscribe down below. As well, if you guys don't know what AppNana is, uh, you can use that code in my description. Sign up. Uh, it's what helps me get gems on my main account. I don't gem on this one or my Town Hall 8 one. Uh, so that's one thing that helps me out if you guys want to support me in that way. Also, you can enter each other's codes and uh, get points that way. So that's pretty sweet. But why don't we go ahead and upgrade this wizard tower right here. Boom! There we go. Only 77,000 gold left. But we are upgrading. Uh, we're upgrading some big things now. Upgrading wizard towers and mortars is big. I mean, that's 800,000. And the wizards are, what was that, 12, a million, uh, 280? Uh, yeah, so that's big. I mean, the cannons are only 400,000. So we're doing some big upgrades, moving on up there, getting super stoked about this. I actually like this account. It's a lot of fun playing on this account. Let's see how my defenses are going. We got three starred by somebody using uh, his king and archers and the healer. That's freaking hilarious. Let's watch this one. This guy only got one star, but I think he got a good amount of loot. Um, I don't know why he didn't attack the town hall up there. But whatever. So he dropped off a heal spell. That is going to cause some serious problems uh, with the fact that I don't have any walls because they're just going to sit in it and uh, they're not going to have to walk out of it to go around. Um, so the heal spell has definitely helped him out right there. Uh, his giants are taking a good amount of damage and that giant bomb right there was freaking perfect. I want to watch that again <laughs> because it just took out all of his goblins. Let's go replay that again. I want to see when it happened and then pause it. So we'll get up in there, one, two, three, come on, four, go fast, go fast. Uh, they're going to head in there to the elixir storage right there. And then watch this. How many of them run in there? I think it's a good amount of them. Pause. Uh, one, two, yeah, it's like ten, watch this. Let's see what it looks like. Come on. Oh, get wrecked. Look at all that elixir that's flying in the air. That's awesome. Oh, you can still see the bomb afterwards. That's funny. Look at their little skeletons. Nice. All right, that's just me being random, paying attention to details because I love them. Um, but let's see. He's just going to keep going. I think that he does get... Uh, he, yeah, he, he crushed my, uh, my gold storages over there on the side um, and got rid of all my defenses. But it's okay, guys. I didn't have walls, you know? So 
That's that's the penalty of not having walls. So it happens every once in a while. It's whatever. Um, the heal spells definitely. If you guys find my base, use heal spells, and it'll crush me because, like I was saying, if someone drops a heal spell and they have to go around the walls, they're not in the heal spell. Wherever he drops it, they're gonna stay in there because around any walls. So. Uh, yeah, but that's gonna be it for this episode guys. We got some freaking awesome upgrades so much loot in this video So much freaking loot in this video over 2 million gold. That's what I'm talking about But uh, that's gonna be it guys. Thank you so much for watching if you guys want to check out my second channel as well uh, I play a game called plunder pirates on there. Uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, that is molt plays You can see it in the sidebar of my channel, but thank you so much for watching guys I really do appreciate it and as always make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace